you guys and welcome or welcome back to another vlog here on my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sarah and today I'm throwing it back with like an old school YouTube video and we're doing our July favorites. If you like these kinds of videos then I'll definitely keep doing them for you. Um, the girls assume I'm down on their level for them so they're they're gonna be behind me. I've got several items. It's really in no particular order. So I'm just gonna like come at you. Um, I have one fashion piece that I like really wanna talk about. This is my Brooklyn graphic tee that I got from Shein. Just Shein graphic tees in general. <laughs> Stella has decided to join the party too. Um, Shein graphic tees in general are just my favorites. Like. If you go in there and you go to like the material little filter on Shein and you click knitted fabric, I have never been disappointed with any of the graphic tees that I've bought with that little check mark, if you will. And I've got some beauty makeup hair things to show you. First and foremost, you guys have not seen this on my channel yet um, because I got this and I've been testing it out. So this is from Ken's Customs and i was testing these out because i do have like a code and things that you guys can use for her but you know i never like to talk about something unless i'm really sure that it's good quality so it's a little makeup case and it unzips like so and it has a mirror and it has like this big pocket where you can fit all of your stuff it's actually really good quality and she does customizations so i got get ready with me grwm on the front i thought it was really cute i will show you this more in depth in a video coming up here on the future on my channel because i'm gonna go i need to go through my makeup again and organize it and declutter maybe try out some new things and i'll show you how i put this together next thing is from simple and dainty we love simple and dainty it is an anklet how am i going to show you this like i hate feet there's the anklet. Is that too close? Is that too much? That's too much. This anklet has been going strong, y'all. All summer, I think I got it in May. It's went all June, it's went all July. I've really been at the pool most of July. It's not tarnished. I love simple and dainty jewelry. That's who I wear necklace. I've got little bracelets, I've got rings, I've got earrings. Really, really enjoy them. Great quality for summer. Y'all, I can't make this stuff up. All right, next I wanna talk about my new favorite mascara. I'm wearing it now. My lashes really don't show much anyways. I've really been liking it. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Surreal Mascara. I love purple. Okay, I love the packaging. It's really cute. Wand, we love a good wand. That's what she looks like. I didn't get this in black or like very black like I normally do. I got it in very brown, I think is what it's called, or dark brown or brown brown. I got like a dark shade of brown because it will match all of my other characteristics and not stand out. And I've actually been liking it. It's subtle, but I still have like some mascara going on there. Recently was able to repurchase my GlossierBomb.com and she's coming in clutch. Like I use this for everything. I put it on my lips. I put it on if I have like little dry patches on my face. I'll put it on my nails, like in my cuticles. This is just like an all over, like you could use this for so much more than just like a chapstick. So I love having this. It's like a, it, it really is like a universal salve. Like it's, it works for everything. I'm trying to get my 30 year old skincare routine down. I went my entire twenties with no skincare routine. I pretty much just put coconut oil on everything and called it a day, but now I'm 30 and I've got to get a skincare routine going on. And I've recently implemented an exfoliator into my routine. Y'all. <laughs> This exfoliator is like no other that I've tried. It's really gentle. It doesn't break my face out. I have severely, severely sensitive dry skin. This is from Bliss. It is their Jelly Glow Peel. I'm gonna show you guys a little action shot of this stuff. When you put it on your face and you start to work it in, it literally pulls the dead skin away. And like you're left with like gross, 
white gunky exfoliation from your face but there's something so satisfying about it that it's not repulsive if that makes any sense at all i actually severely like this like you can tell how much i've already used and i've only been using this gosh i don't even think it's been a month i think it's been maybe three weeks something like that maybe two or three weeks i use it every single night in my nighttime skincare routine and i've been loving it next we're in our curly hair girl phase if you guys have been around for a while, then you know I usually straighten my hair, but we're embracing the curls. I do, I have really, really curly hair, as you can see. And here's the thing, I haven't perfected how to reactivate my curls yet. I'm working on that. So that means about every two or three days, I'm washing my hair so that I can redo my curls that have been lost over the past couple days. So I go through product very very quickly i also have very thick very long hair right now and i'm using a lot of product so i don't want to spend lots of money on product that i'm going through like crazy during the week pantene you guys this pantene line i use an anti-frizz serum i also use the curly mousse and then this gel in the line and it's been chef's kiss like this is two day old hair so i washed my hair yesterday morning and put like the gel and stuff in it slept on it all night went to work all day today and this is what we're left with and she's still looking pretty good in my opinion and i think it all a lot of it has to deal with the gel the mousse does its job and works great but this is what really holds it in my curls in place in my opinion because i've used just the mousse and it poofs, has some curl, has a lot more poof to it. Doesn't really define anything like when I use this. So if you have curly hair, if you have wavy hair, if you're looking to like just get into this, this Pantene Flexible Waves and Curls Gel and like this whole Pro-V line that kind of looks similar to this. It's got like gold packaging on it. I highly recommend and it's so affordable, you guys. So affordable. And honestly, I feel like we've been lied to about drugstore products for a long time now. I just feel like we have been. Next, I've got to talk to you guys about my new little wristlet. I'm a wristlet girl. I love having my purse and I take my purse everywhere with me, but I'm not taking it in the gas station. I'm not taking it in the store. I'm not taking it in Walmart when I'm running in for groceries. I'm not taking it to ball practice. Like it's staying in the car. And this is what I take everywhere. So this is from Andar. Andar makes amazing quality leather products. They last you for years. I've worked with them for three years now and I've watched them expand their product line to include all kinds of cute little stuff because it used to be just like wallets like for men and things like that. And now they're amazing. So I pair two things. I pair the Poppy which is this little booger right here, which has my current Glossier lip balm in there that I'm trying to use up um, quickly so she doesn't go to waste. And I also pair her with the dinner where you pull this little slit right there and all of your little cards pop out. I always put a little picture of Mason where my ID is supposed to go because I can't take a good ID picture to save my life. So we don't put that on broadcast. We, we let cute little Mason be back there. And it has like the cute little tether that comes with both. And finally, I have a book. I have finished reading Verity by Colleen Hoover. Y'all, this, I've read a lot of Colleen Hoover books, a lot of them. Um, and there's been a lot of them that I really like. She's poking me. Hey, quit poking me. I've read a lot of Colleen Hoover books. Um, I really haven't met one that I don't like. But this one, man, I didn't see the twists and turns coming. I think it's because I'm a mom. And this book dealt with, like, children and marriage. And, like, it was just deep. It was deep. It was dark. Okay, um, I highly recommend it if that's something you're into. Really trying to read more, <sighs> mainly listening to audiobooks, just because I'm so busy. I don't have time to actually sit and open the book, but I have a lot of time to have something playing in the background. So 
If you're into audiobooks and things like that, I use the Libby app. It's through your public library, so most things you can read for free. Um, so those are my July favorites. Those are the things that in July, mostly they've really stuck out to me. I've really been loving them. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll definitely keep doing them in the future. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.